newly installed cameras capturing an eruption from the Black Diamond Pool at Yellowstone National Park on Saturday. The ground had split open in Yellowstone National Park, leaving a gaping wound across one of the most studied and closely monitored volcanic regions on Earth. The fracture, jagged and raw, was not simply a crack in the soil, but a dramatic reminder of the restless forces moving beneath the park's breathtaking landscape. Geologists on site moved swiftly, instruments in hand, their expressions marked with urgency as they issued what many hoped would never come to pass, a red alert. The designation was not given lightly. It meant something within the Yellowstone system had changed in a way that carried the potential for grave consequences. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The park itself sits atop one of the largest active volcanic systems in the world, a caldera formed by massive eruptions thousands of times more powerful than the eruption of Mount St. Helens. This underground giant, known as the Yellowstone Supervolcano, is driven by a colossal magma chamber that stretches for miles beneath the crust. For decades, scientists have monitored it with seismographs, GPS units, thermal cameras, and satellite imaging. They watch the ground rise and fall, track earthquakes, and study geysers that act as vents for the hidden heat below. For the ground to suddenly split open in such a dramatic fashion was not just a curious geologic event, it was a clear sign of stress in the Earth's crust, the kind of stress that suggests deep movement of magma, pressure building where stability once existed. A red alert in Yellowstone meant the likelihood of escalating volcanic activity was high. It signaled to geologists and emergency planners that the potential for a catastrophic eruption could no longer be dismissed as a remote theoretical possibility. The split in the ground was not simply a superficial scar. It was a pressure release, an indication that gases and molten material might be forcing their way closer to the surface. In some areas, hot steam hissed from the fresh cracks, carrying the sulfurous scent of the volcanic gases that make Yellowstone's geothermal features so unique. This was not the peaceful exhalation of a geyser or the playful bubbling of a hot spring. It was raw energy venting where the Earth had literally torn itself apart. The implications of such an event ripple far beyond the boundaries of the park. Yellowstone is not an isolated system. It is part of a vast network of geologic forces tied to the deep structure of North America. When geologists observed the crack opening, they knew they were witnessing more than a localized disturbance. A tear in the crust here meant the stress was significant enough to physically reshape the surface, a harbinger of further upheaval. Even without an immediate eruption, the sudden rupture pointed to instability, raising alarms about possible larger earthquakes, geyser field changes, and hydrothermal explosions. Violent events where superheated water trapped beneath the ground bursts forth with devastating force. Yellowstone's history only deepens the concern. The park's caldera was created by three super eruptions in the past 2.1 million years, each leaving scars that reshaped the landscape for millennia. Though those eruptions are separated by tens or hundreds of thousands of years, the current state of unrest has always drawn unease from scientists who know the potential magnitude of another one. The most recent eruption, some 640,000 years ago, blanketed much of North America with volcanic ash, altering climates and ecosystems across the planet. To see the Earth split open in this modern age, with populations in the millions living within reach of its ash fallout, magnifies the urgency of the red alert. The park's visitors who only hours earlier had marveled at Old Faithful and the rainbow colors of the Grand Prismatic Spring were evacuated swiftly. Rangers and scientists worked in tandem, establishing exclusion zones around the newly formed fissure. Helicopters surveyed the area from above, capturing images of the raw rupture and the geothermal activity intensifying around it. Instruments placed at the site registered spikes in ground deformation and a rise in seismic tremors. Small earthquakes had already been rattling the region in swarms, a common but concerning phenomenon in Yellowstone. Now, with the land literally splitting apart, those swarms took on a more ominous significance. The danger extends well beyond the immediate vicinity of the fissure. If magma continues to rise, gases trapped under immense pressure could erupt through new cracks, releasing plumes of ash and noxious fumes. Even a smaller eruption, far short of a supervolcanic event, could wreak havoc on nearby communities, damaging infrastructure, and creating widespread panic. The memory of eruptions like Mount Pinatubo in 1991 or Ijefjallajökull in Iceland in 2010 
remind scientists and emergency officials that volcanic ash can ground air traffic, poison water supplies, and devastate crops. With Yellowstone, the scale would be exponentially larger. The fissure is a warning, one that forces consideration of cascading scenarios that could affect vast regions of the United States and beyond. To geologists, the split also represents a window into the deeper mechanics of the supervolcano. Each fracture tells a story about the direction of stress in the crust, the pressure gradients below, and the pathways magma may be carving upward. As they collect samples and analyze gases, scientists hope to gain critical insights into how close the system is to a major eruption. The red alert allows them to marshal resources, coordinate with government agencies, and prioritize public safety, but it also underscores the sobering truth. Humanity cannot control what lies beneath Yellowstone. We can only observe, prepare, and respond. The psychological weight of such an event is profound. The idea of the ground literally breaking open in one of the most iconic landscapes of North America is unsettling on its own. When paired with the knowledge that this is the heart of a supervolcano, the fear is magnified. Images of ash clouds blotting out the sun, of farmland buried under gray powder, of cities choked by toxic air, all rise unbidden in the imagination. The reality, though, is that the fissure itself is already dangerous. Hydrothermal explosions can occur without warning, sending boulders and scalding water hurtling hundreds of feet. Toxic gases like carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide can accumulate in low areas, posing silent threats to any who venture too close. In this moment, the red alert is not just a scientific classification. It is a signal to the world that the Earth is restless, that even in our age of technology and space exploration, we remain subject to forces older and more powerful than human civilization. The crack at Yellowstone is a reminder of the fragile boundary between surface life and the turbulent interior of our planet. Geologists, standing at the edge of the rupture, know that their measurements and models, no matter how advanced, cannot guarantee certainty. They can read the signs, interpret the data, and issue warnings, but the timing and scale of volcanic events remain elusive. Communities surrounding Yellowstone now live under the weight of this uncertainty. The fissure has become a focal point for fear, speculation, and urgent planning. Farmers consider what ash could do to their fields. Residents of nearby towns wonder if evacuation routes will hold against the influx of panicked traffic. National authorities weigh the logistics of relocating thousands, perhaps millions if the event escalates. Emergency managers dust off scenarios long relegated to theoretical exercises. All of this because the Earth has reminded us with one violent split that its surface is not as stable as it often seems. Scientists stress that the crack itself is not the eruption but a symptom of deeper unrest. It is like a pressure valve hissing before the full force is unleashed. Whether this unrest stabilizes or builds further is unknown. But the issuance of a red alert makes it clear that the risk cannot be ignored. The fracture has already altered geothermal systems in the park, with geysers shifting patterns and hot springs boiling more furiously. Wildlife, sensitive to changes long before humans perceive them, scatter from areas near the rupture. The disruption is ecosystem-wide, cascading from deep geologic processes to surface life in a chain of cause and effect. For those who study the planet, the split in Yellowstone is both a rare scientific opportunity and a sobering warning. The magnitude of data being collected now could inform volcanic research for generations, offering new models of how supervolcanoes behave in their build-up phases, yet the urgency of the moment cannot be overstated. The balance of forces beneath Yellowstone has tipped, and the scar on the land is the evidence written in stone and soil. The red alert is not about speculation, but about observable reality. The earth has split, the magma is moving, and the danger is real. The sudden rupture in Yellowstone has forced the scientific community to confront questions that have simmered beneath the surface of their research for decades. The magnitude of what lies beneath the park is staggering. Beneath the serene landscapes of pine forests, rivers, and valleys sits a colossal reservoir of molten rock. This magma chamber, which geologists estimate stretches more than 40 miles across, is layered like a complex engine of heat and pressure. The recent splitting of the Earth's surface points directly to the dynamic forces within that chamber, revealing that the system is active in ways that even the most advanced monitoring technologies could not have fully anticipated. 
To understand why this event carries such a weighty sense of danger, one must consider the sheer scale of Yellowstone's volcanic potential. A conventional volcanic eruption, such as those witnessed in Iceland, the Philippines, or Indonesia, releases enough energy to devastate local environments, displace communities, and disrupt global air traffic. Yellowstone, however, operates on an entirely different scale. Its eruptions in the distant past were supervolcanic in nature, unleashing thousands of cubic kilometers of ash and debris into the atmosphere. The fissure now visible on the park's surface does not guarantee such an outcome, but it reminds everyone of the sleeping colossus beneath their feet. The opening of the ground has also introduced new geological puzzles. Cracks like these often indicate the movement of magma through fractures in the crust, but they can also result from shifting stresses caused by tectonic adjustments in the region. Yellowstone sits at a unique intersection of geologic processes. Its hotspot interacts with the North American plate in complex ways that create earthquakes, uplift, and thermal activity. By splitting open in such a dramatic manner, the land may be signaling that forces long held in balance are beginning to shift more violently. Each measurement of gas output, each spike in tremor activity, and each plume of steam venting from the crack adds a piece to this unfolding puzzle. The consequences of this event are not limited to raw geology. Yellowstone is one of the most visited national parks in the United States, drawing millions of people from across the globe every year. The park is often seen as a symbol of America's natural majesty, with its geysers, wildlife, and expansive vistas inspiring awe. To see this cherished landscape torn apart carries a heavy psychological impact. Families who once came to marvel at Old Faithful or hike along serene trails now see the park as a place of danger, a reminder of the unpredictable power of the earth. Tourism, which is vital to local economies, faces immediate disruption, and communities that depend on it must wrestle with an uncertain future. Beyond the human perception of danger lies the tangible risk to ecosystems. Yellowstone's geothermal features are not merely curiosities. They are essential to the park's delicate balance of life. The hot springs, geysers, and thermal vents shape habitats for microorganisms that thrive in extreme conditions, forming unique ecosystems that exist nowhere else on Earth. The sudden rupture of the ground could alter water flows, disrupt geyser activity, and even dry up features that have existed for centuries. Animals that depend on specific geothermal areas for warmth in winter may find their lifelines severed. The chain reaction from one split in the ground can cascade into ecological shifts with long-lasting consequences. The global community, too, watches with apprehension. Yellowstone's name carries a weight far beyond American borders, synonymous with the concept of a supervolcano. Scientists in Europe, Asia, and South America are analyzing satellite data, atmospheric readings, and seismic patterns tied to this event. The international scientific community knows that the repercussions of a major eruption would not stop at the borders of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. Ash plumes can travel across continents, altering jet streams, cooling climates, and disrupting agriculture. Nations far removed from the park's serene valleys would find themselves grappling with food shortages, economic instability, and cascading environmental crises should the unrest escalate. At the heart of the fissure's significance is the element of unpredictability. Unlike hurricanes, which can be tracked with relative accuracy as they move across oceans, or earthquakes, which release their energy in brief bursts, supervolcanoes exist in a realm of long buildup and sudden transformative events. The splitting of the Earth is not a neat signal with a clear timeline. It is a warning flare whose interpretation requires a blend of science, caution, and humility. For every data set that points toward escalating danger, there are other measurements suggesting that the system could stabilize. This ambiguity makes decision-making under a red alert profoundly challenging, forcing officials to prepare for worst-case scenarios while hoping for reprieve. Technology has advanced considerably since the last major upheaval in Yellowstone's distant past, and the array of instruments now monitoring the park provides scientists with unprecedented insight. Satellite radar can detect ground swelling down to centimeters. Seismic arrays can pinpoint earthquakes with extraordinary precision. Gas sensors measure subtle changes in carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide output, providing clues about magma movement. Despite all of these tools, however, 
the raw truth remains that predicting a supervolcanic eruption is among the most difficult tasks in the field of geoscience. The Fisher has brought this challenge into sharp relief, exposing the limits of human knowledge against the backdrop of planetary forces. The sheer drama of the split itself has captivated imaginations worldwide. Images of the jagged wound running across the Earth's surface have circulated through news outlets, social media, and scientific forums. For many, it serves as a stark visual metaphor. The Earth itself is fragile, and the veneer of stability upon which humanity builds its cities and civilizations is thinner than we prefer to believe. The sight of steam venting from fresh cracks is both mesmerizing and terrifying, a spectacle of nature that reminds viewers of their vulnerability. Communities surrounding Yellowstone now live under heightened scrutiny as researchers, emergency managers, and media outlets converge. Every tremor, every plume of steam, every change in geyser eruption schedules is documented and dissected. Residents find themselves both informed and overwhelmed, their daily lives entwined with a scientific drama unfolding beneath their feet. The stress of living in the shadow of such uncertainty weighs heavily as people grapple with the dual reality of carrying on with normal routines, while knowing that forces beyond their control could one day rewrite their futures in ash and fire. The Fisher's implications extend even further when one considers the interconnectedness of Earth systems. A volcanic eruption on Yellowstone's scale would not only send ash into the sky, but also inject massive quantities of sulfur aerosols into the stratosphere. These particles reflect sunlight, leading to cooling across the globe. Historical eruptions of far lesser magnitude have caused measurable drops in global temperatures, altering growing seasons and triggering food crises. The crack now yawning in the park serves as a chilling reminder of that potential. Even the possibility of such an outcome is enough to spur urgent discussions among policymakers, scientists, and international organizations tasked with global preparedness. The red alert issued after the ground split is also reshaping conversations about how humanity interacts with geologic hazards. Many disasters, such as floods and storms, can be mitigated with engineering solutions. Volcanoes, particularly supervolcanoes, defy such control. The scale of their power dwarfs human attempts at containment. The fissure demonstrates this imbalance vividly. In an instant, the Earth changed its own surface, reminding us that there are forces against which technology and infrastructure provide no shield. This realization forces societies to consider resilience not as the prevention of natural events, but as preparation for survival in their aftermath. Another layer of significance lies in the cultural and symbolic meaning of Yellowstone. For many indigenous groups, the land has deep spiritual and historical significance. The sudden tearing of the earth may be viewed not just as a geologic event, but as a profound spiritual occurrence. Cultural interpretations of such ruptures can vary, but they often carry themes of balance, warning, and renewal. These perspectives add a dimension beyond science, reminding us that human understanding of natural events is not solely defined by measurements and models, but also by the stories and beliefs that frame our relationship with the earth. The Fisher also prompts new discussions in the scientific community about the long-term cycles of the Yellowstone system. While much attention is paid to the possibility of a massive eruption, the park's volcanic system can also produce smaller events that are still immensely destructive. Hydrothermal explosions, where superheated water erupts with explosive force, can devastate local areas without magma ever reaching the surface. Lava flows too are possible, creating localized but destructive reshaping of the land. The crack in the ground could be a precursor to such scenarios, each carrying its own set of risks and challenges. In the broader sweep of Earth's history, the splitting of the ground in Yellowstone is not unique. Planetary geology is full of fractures, ruptures, and eruptions. What makes this event significant is that it occurs in a time when human civilization has spread across the globe, dependent on agriculture, technology, and stable climates. An eruption here would not just alter the land, it would ripple through economic systems, technological infrastructure, and political landscapes. The fissure is thus not merely a geologic scar, it is a symbol of the intersection between natural forces and human vulnerability. The days and weeks following the split are critical for observation and understanding. Geologists continue to measure, to model, 
to debate the meaning of the data 